Hi everyone, welcome to We Draw Studio. Today, we are going to talk about iron. So now let's get straight to it. Iron is a metal that belongs to the first transition series and group 8 of the periodic table. With the atomic number of 26, a typical iron atom has 26 protons, 26 electrons, and 30 neutrons. The name iron is derived from the Old English iron, while its chemical symbol Fe comes from the Latin word ferrum. Iron has been used by humans for more than 5,000 years, with its discovery dating back to prehistoric times. In fact, some of the most ancient iron known to humans literally fell from the sky. In a 2013 study published in the Journal of Archaeological Science, researchers discovered that ancient Egyptian iron beads from around 3200 BCE were made from iron meteorites. Iron became widely significant during the Iron Age, around 1200 BCE, when human learned to smelt iron from its ores. Did you know that an iron pillar dating to about AD 400 still stands today in Delhi, India? The pillar is about 7.21 meters high and 41 centimeters in diameter. Despite being exposed to weather conditions, the pillar has shown minimal corrosion due to its unique metal composition and the presence of a protective oxide layer. In nature, iron is the fourth most abundant element in the Earth's crust, after oxygen, silicon, and aluminum, making up about 5% of its mass. It is most commonly found in ore forms such as hematite and magnetite. Iron is the main component of Earth's core, making up more than 85% of the core, along with nickel. It is also present in the sun, other stars, and planets. Iron is a lustrous, silvery-gray metal in its pure form. However, it often appears dull in the presence of moisture, forming rust, iron oxide, through a process known as oxidation. According to studies, the surface of Mars is red due to a large amount of iron oxide. Mars has more than twice as much iron oxide in its crust than Earth. Pure iron is soft, malleable, and ductile. It becomes much harder and stronger when alloyed with other elements, like carbon, to make steel. Iron has high melting and boiling points of 1,538 degrees Celsius and 2,862 degrees Celsius, respectively. These high temperatures make iron suitable for construction and industrial purposes. Iron is a good conductor of heat and electricity, though not as good as metals like copper or silver. It is ferromagnetic, meaning it can be magnetized and is naturally attracted to magnets. The most significant use of iron is in the production of steel. By combining iron with carbon and other elements, different types of steel are made, which are essential in construction, transportation, and manufacturing. Iron is essential in the automobile industry, used in steel for frames, engines, and other parts. It is also widely used in machinery, tools, and heavy equipment. Iron plays a role as a catalyst in several industrial chemical reactions, such as the Haber process for synthesizing ammonia for fertilizers. Did you know that iron is a key component of hemoglobin, the molecule in red blood cells that carries oxygen throughout the body? Without iron, life as we know it wouldn't be possible. Iron is an essential part of our diet. It is found in foods like spinach, red meat, and lentils. Iron-fortified foods help prevent anemia, a condition caused by low iron levels. As one of the most recycled materials on Earth, scrap iron can be melted down and reused indefinitely without losing its properties, making it eco-friendly. Well, that's all for today, and thanks for watching. If you like our video, please click the like and subscribe button below. We'll see you in the next video.